And now, Tiki Man Radio is proud to present the JBL Legends Travel Travel Moment with Joe Leo. Take it away, Joe. Good morning, everybody. It's Joe Leo with the JBL Travel Group with this week's Travel Minute. And this week, I want to talk about what I just did. I just got back from a 10-day cruise through Italy and Greece. And I have to tell you, I have a phenomenal, phenomenal time. Uh, we had a group of about 70 people with us who all had a great time. Um, I could talk for hours about this. I mean, we saw uh, seven or eight different ports. Uh, we tried all the different foods and the beers and the wines uh, in every stop that we made. It was just unbelievable. I, 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 I can't say enough about it. I have thousands of pictures, tons of video. Um, it was one of our first times taking a European cruise. Uh, actually, everybody that was on this tour was their first time in the Italy and Greece area. And so they all didn't really know what to expect. Um, you know, you, I, you've heard me talk about cruises in the past. And it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, we uh, we like it because we can see a variety of ports and we can uh, only unpack once. And the ships are great. We're on the Norwegian breakaway. Uh, you get the buffet restaurant. You have the Italian restaurant. French restaurant, a Brazilian barbecue, um, Cagney Steakhouse. So you, you can't want for food. Um, and, and, and as far as alcohol is concerned, everybody in our group had alcohol, the alcohol package. So it was unlimited open bar for the entire 10 days. Um, of course, you know, I'm very shy, but I made friends with, with the head uh, of the food and beverage department while we were on the ship. And uh, he took really good care of, of our group. Um, but anyway, I got to tell you, we stopped. Uh, we went to Rome first. Some of us went two days before. Some of us went a, a day before. So we did some touring of Rome. Um, we we ate uh, on one of the uh, street, street side cafes. We had some wine there. And when we're sitting there at the table, there's a little car trying to get down the street. We actually had to pull our chairs in so the car could get past us. It's just unbelievable. And then most of the place, most of the time, you see them running around on, on motorbikes because the streets are so narrow and, and so crowded. Um, but we did Rome. Uh, we did Santorini, Mykonos, Malta, uh, Olympia. Um, we did Sicily, Florence, Pisa, uh, which is like the Tuscany area, and Naples. So just touch on a little bit. Let's take Santorini because everybody loves those whitewashed buildings with the blue domes. You want to get up there to see those? There's a cable car from the port that takes you up to the top of the mountain. There's also a staircase if you are brave enough to walk 575 steps. And there's also donkeys, uh, which none of us did. Um, we um, it was recommended by the cruise ship that you don't take the donkeys because uh, they don't take care of them. They abuse them. So we um, we all stayed away from, from the donkeys. Most of us took the cable car up. A few brave people did the stairs. Absolutely breathtaking, whitewashed buildings, blue domes, the beautiful sea out in front of you. Something you need to see. You, you see lots of photos of it all the time. Um, Malta was a surprise to us because, uh, you know, it's it's off the coast of, uh, of Italy. Um, it's all a country within itself. And we um, it was absolutely beautiful. They had some great um, some great history there, um, which I, I'm not going to get into all the, all the history there. But we did a hop on hop off bus there all, all around Malta. Um, Sicily was great because I got to see where some of my my grandparents on my father's side were from. Uh, we had some great times there. We had uh, went to a limoncello factory there. Uh, we went to, um, and oh, the next one was Naples. Went to Naples, and in Naples, I rented buses that picked us up at the ship at 6.30 in the morning uh, because we needed to be back by 2.30, and it took us over to the Amalfi Coast, um, which was about an hour and 20-minute ride with traffic, and as we're going up the road of the Amalfi Coast, which is a little scary, by the way, when you look down, um, we had to stop because it was a traffic jam, a traffic jam in the middle of, the, of, of this road going up one way up, one way down, and it wasn't cars. It was a guy walking around the street with a, a, a herd of sheep, um, goats, I'm sorry, goats, and two dogs that were running alongside of them. We were like all laughing. You have to come to Italy to see this. So uh, you, you can't even explain all the experiences that, you know, that, that, you, that you encountered there. Um, so we got to see the Amalfi Coast. We got to see Positano, Amalfi, and uh, Ravello. Uh, we went to a, a winery. 
Um, it's just unbelievable. I could go on and on for hours about it, but um, you know that I always say that I like doing a cruise because you only have to unpack once and you can see a multitude of, uh, of ports. Um, you could also do Europe um, with a um, escorted tour. And uh, that's great because you go to a, you go to a tour city and then they pick you up in buses and take you to the different sites and drop you off. But then there you have to unpack and pack because you go to different hotels along the way. Uh, anyway, great experience. I just wanted to pop on here today and and uh, and tell you all about it. If you have any questions about it, or you want to hear more, call me. I'll be glad to I'll be glad to share it with you. Uh, anyway, this has been Joe Leo with this week's Travel Minute from the JBL Travel Group. If you have any questions, 732-831-5200. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks, Joe. Always travel with someone you trust. JBL Legends Travel and Joe Leo. Reach out to him at 732-831-5200. The official travel company of Tiki Man Radio.